the puddles on BJ's story are gonna be great. So loud. Okay, so, god dang, this thing is loud. In the last video, when I was drifting this thing in the front yard, the exhaust got like completely disconnected, and then in between then and now, it became more disconnected. Like, I swear, this is just coming straight off the headers. It is so loud. <laughs> Do it. This is the one I was talking about. That's a pretty big puddle. Yeah. How deep is it? I don't know. We should check it out though. I'm sure when you check it out, you're going really fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty deep. It looks like it. Oh my gosh. Hopefully, it doesn't fuck my smart car. <laughs> Not seem to stoke the wave. He looked like a guy that you would see driving a smart car. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyone else driving a smart car is a guy that would drive a smart car, other than us two. So after the last video dropped, I'm pretty sure there's been an influx in smart car sales, and they're starting to become really hard to find. Like, I want to buy one now, and I can't find any of them. Because they're so sought after yeah, now. I told you, when I saw Tint roll up with his smart car, I was like, well, I want one. Hey, I know those guys, dude. All right, I gotta go read for the first time in 10 years. Let me see one of those bad boys. So this is pretty cool. We made it on the cover of a magazine. Yeah, I didn't know they were putting us on the cover. That's awesome. Fargo Inc. is a magazine in Fargo, about 45 minutes from us. Anyways, they did an article in their magazine on us and we made the cover. It was just really cool because we've never had that happen before. So. If you guys are interested, we got the link down below. You can swipe up to read it. Uh, it's pretty like business oriented, but I know some of you are, are interested in that type of stuff. So give it a read. And that's Big Ken. Five local kids turning their daily activities into a viral business. Come on, at least call us young men. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 24 over here, I'm not that young. <laughs> Everyone just thinks like, oh, you're fucking around on YouTube. You must be what, 16? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Micah was super hammered last night. Uh, so I being a good friend, took the liberty of filming it. <laughs> oh, and then you fell asleep yeah, in your closet. Yeah, that's my favorite part. And you're like, can leave him. And then Greta's like, no. Anyway, anyway. Glad to see you're okay today. Me too, man. We, we were worried you were dead for a little bit. Yeah, you were literally checking my if I, there was air coming out of my nose. What's up, guys? Brief interruption in today's video to mention our sponsor, Raycon Earbuds. Raycon Earbuds started about half the price as any other premium wireless earbud on the market, and they sound just as amazing. Raycon was co-founded by platinum artist Ray J and is backed by numerous other celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Cardi B. These earbuds are great for just about anything, from working out to working at home, listening to music, or you even watching this YouTube video without disturbing others. Unlike some other wireless options, Raycon Earbuds are both stylish and discreet without any dangling wires or stems. The new everyday Today, E25 earbuds are their best model yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and an even more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash cboys to get you 15% off your first order. Brought to you by Raycon. All right, so we got the other bass cleared out, so now it's time for the merch bay to get out of here. I don't wanna, but we're gonna. All right, guys, so as promised, we are bringing you along with the transformation of our shop. So if you remember, this bay was basically full of toys, and then this bay was full of the previous owner's stuff, and this bay is where all the merchandise was. So now that we have the room on the far side, we're moving all the merch from here into that one, and then we're setting it back up 
Um, over here. This is gonna be Big Ken's little shipping area. This is gonna be Big Ken's big shipping area. Yeah. He's getting upgraded. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a bit of an upgrade. Are we gonna do an inside foam pit? I mean, we probably should. Just a little guy? Just a little, little baby one? I think we'll have the room somewhere in here. Like right in that corner? Yeah, dude. We need a foam pit. We need a tramp. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard. Maybe like two grand and you'd have enough foam. The only thing we're missing at this point is just money. <laughs> you know? I think for a foam pit, it's literally $1 for a block. And you probably need like 3,000 of them? Something like that. And if it was outside, probably like 10K? Yeah. Oh. Could you imagine? A one day, one? one day we might. Are you supervising this? No, because I'm not a quad guy. <laughs> <laughs> guys do during moments like this these quad guys have no respect <laughs> hey mike aren't you a little hung over to be doing this We're just in a shop right now. If we clear, if we cleared this wall out, then we would have way more room to be able to do donuts in the smart cars. I mean, I guess. You know, it's like the only thing we can do <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Oh my gosh. Yo, you know the smart car is tiny when it only bends one panel. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna take more of it out. <laughs> that's uh, proper disposal right there. <laughs> Yo. Yo. The nail, oh. oh. The nail went through up here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my, hey, watch the paint, watch the paint. <laughs> Is there any damage? Other than some scratches, some no. Minimal scratches. <laughs> Yo, scratch, minimal. scratch, yeah, yeah. that was already there. It'll buff. <laughs> it will buff. <laughs> oh, we got some, we got some roof scratches, but it's other than that. right here too. Dude. Well, now you guys know, if you need to drive through your wall, just buy a smart car. Watch it when it goes through the wall. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, do you wanna do a quick run through? Yeah, I might. I, I literally was thinking the same thing. I'm like, well, let's do it. CJ was the test dummy. You might as well just finish it off. Oh! I, I think I just hit something. The wall was sturdy. Tiny would have been done in time. She's just taking her down. We just need to take the rest of the wall down now. Let's get to work. Tomahawk. My arm hasn't been this sore since I turned 13. We figure out that this was actually needed to hold up the structural integrity of the building. Dude, how much of a sea boy thing would it be to just leave that? Just hang leave it like this. Yeah. That's good. yeah, we got room. 
All right, boys, I officially introduce you Seaboys HQ 2.0 unlocked. <laughs> so now that we don't have this wall here anymore, Ryan can do snow angels or cement angels. <laughs> I think we're gonna have some more room to do our burnouts too on top of it. Yeah, that's, look at this. this is basically what I've been dreaming for since we moved in here. Actually, since before even that, back when Randy used to own the place. As soon as Randy said it wasn't structural, we knew. Ryan cleaned all this up and it looks perfect. You can really hardly tell there's ever a wall here. Yeah, pretty amazing. What? I, think, I think now we can finally carry on with, with riding our quads. I guess we got what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Ken in my Jeep, I was like, no, 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 not again. If we proved it can't. Well, you guys are like, well, try it inside. You know, maybe the floor is slippery. Yeah, it's I a mean, little tighter, make, but there's no more trees. Sense. We're gonna hose this bitch down. That way Ken has a little more slippage. Yeah, guys, come here. What are we doing? Oh, we're gonna hold stop, it? Stop, stop, oh, stop. I will not fix it because I'm so sick of these walls, dude. <laughs> You're good. Sad he would have been just, just got, got that rim back. Are you sure this is a good idea? No, I don't think it's a good idea. I, in fact, don't even think you should do this. Yeah, I was afraid. You, I was afraid you were gonna say that. We gotta wait. One more. It's gotta, it's gotta swing. Ben, you're gonna swing into the wall. That's not the plan. Dude, I don't know if you should do this. Hey, Ben, you don't have the power. You should have got the V8. Just call it. I'm not like trying to brag or nothing, but I'm pretty sure my smart car had the best drifting in here. Yeah, you did too, dude. He's probably shitting a little brick right now, dude. <laughs> It'll buff. It'll buff. Something tells me it's not the end of the wrecking days for the smarts. No. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, so this is the painful part, at least for me. We, well, Mike, can we take your car through? It'll pop better. We're making a thumbnail, so. It's just. Yeah. And you just okay. Don't look really slow the What's up? Nothing. It's so smoky in here after that thing. Okay. That thing needs a rebuild. 